Hi, this is Katie and I write the blog IT Foodie and I'm going to talk to you today about IFTTT and how would you sync that with an Evernote account. Um, since my last post on Pocket, I talked in length about how you could kind of integrate IFTTT and Pocket. I thought at least to give you the video demonstration, um, so if you wanted that, here it is. Uh, for example, I've already logged into IFTTT and you can check out some of my recipes. All of these are if Blogger does something, then it has a corresponding reaction. Like if I post to Blogger, Blogger, I mean IFTTT will post to Facebook. Um, if it posts to Blogger, then it automatically posts to Indeed. This one right here, um, if it posts to Blogger, then the picture, the main um, heading picture, is going to post to Twitter. Um, I also have a generated Flickr account. This one, for example, is my Delicious. I logged into Delicious once. At this point, I don't even remember what my password is for it, but IFTTT has taken care of posting here regularly. So if you clicked on my Delicious page, you can see that it's really full. All my labels are there. Um, little thumbnail descriptions are there, and it looks like I regularly log in to, to the Delicious to post everything. Um, and the truth is I only ever did it once, I just let IFTTT take care of it for me. So say for example you want to do something with Evernote, so I'm just going to create a recipe to show you how it's done. First thing you do is just hit the create a recipe button and it's going to generate the equation of if this then that. So I first have to tell it the this part, if this happens. So for me, I am going to sync up the RSSS feed for Huffington Post food section um, so that that will automatically save in Evernote. So here's Huffington Post feed. I already got that all set up. And I can just click that right in here, and so then that's the trigger. When Huffington Post, their taste section, their food writing section, posts an article, now I'm going to tell it to automatically save that in Evernote. So I'll click that, and then there's the Evernote elephant. And I've already synced this account up. I can either create a link to the note, I can do an audio, an image, um, whatever. I'm just going to have a create a note. And you can see it will automatically generate the title, the body, um, the notebook, and tags. And it's going to create tags based on the title, which is kind of fantastic. I could alter any of this through these plus signs and add new things on, but I would try this first to see if I like it and then make tweaks later. So this is it. That's done. <laughs> It's really just that simple. I'm just going to hit create recipe and I'm all set. And that's how you use IFTTT. So please give it a shot. Um, like, for instance, I'll be working for a theater this summer, a play theater, and I'll be doing their social media. And since I have lots of people doing lots of different things with Instagram and Pinterest, what I'm going to do is I'll set up an IFTTT account for them so that whenever any of my peons does anything, it'll all automatically get shared in one place like Dropbox or Evernote would work just fine. So this is a great resource for businesses, for bloggers, for food bloggers, for anybody who wants to have research just kind of automated for them. So give it a try. I hope you like it. Thanks.